Thanks, Emily. You know, the pandemic has hit impacted so many more people here financially, and some are continuing to try to recover. KLBK's Brenda Lipinski spoke to one Lubbock resident who was able to find help in her situation. Brenda joining us now. How did or how bad did it get for this resident? Terry, the mom I spoke with had a very stressful time trying to keep her one year old son healthy during this entire pandemic. He has underlying health conditions, so it's important to keep him safe. And if that wasn't enough, she found herself struggling to pay her rent. Luckily, she was able to qualify for some help. I was like, oh, OK, we can get through this. And then, you know, second going into the third month, uh, that's when it started to get a we started to find a strain on our finances. Haley Vera talks about the uncertainty she felt in having to pay her rent this past month after getting sick and being out of work. I was running a one, uh, 104 fever. Um, it, it turns out that I had the flu. And after being quarantined for two weeks, her one-year-old son also got sick. He has uh, chronic lung disease and he also has a, a heart problem as well. Uh, he's on oxygen assistance. We thought that he had COVID uh, another time and then uh, his dad had to get tested as well. Um, we all tested negative. Haley says she was quarantined a total of six weeks and was not able to work. Luckily, she was able to receive help with her rent through a special grant used to help families. It really took a load off my shoulders because I was just worried about getting better, not worried about paying bills or getting the rent paid and stuff like that. President of Community Foundation of West Texas, Stephen Warren, says there was a total of $1.6 million raised during the pandemic to help nonprofits and families like Haley's. When people are hurting, people stand up. And in West Texas, they really stand up and say, we care, we want to help. And that's really how this got started. He says the funds were a community effort. As for Haley, she says the pandemic has been hard and has advice for others as well. If there's one thing that I can say is, you know, don't be too proud to reach out for help. You know, if you really need it, I'm pretty sure there's someone out there who will offer a hand. That's some sound advice. Now, Mr. Warren says if you need help or you would like to apply for some of these funds, you could reach out to the Salvation Army or Catholic Charities. Terry? All right, thanks so much.